Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to use a little utility I made that will allow you to combine mods for Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Currently, you can only install one mod at a time, and any mod that you want to add is going to overwrite that mod unless you do a lot of work to manually combine them. And this utility is going to help with that. But before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm heading for 10,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, of the utility, of the game, or of any of the mods you're using. Leave it all in the comments. Let's get into it here. So what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need your reference version of BAS.JSONDB and you get that off of your headset. That's the unmodified configuration files for the game. If you don't know how to get that, it's using SideQuest. I have a couple other videos on how to do that, so I'll leave those in the description. Go check those out. But you're going to need a reference version of that file, and you should also have another backup so that that's safe. If you screw that file up, you're going to have to reinstall the game to get a new one or find it from someone else. And then you're going to need a couple mods, and you can get those off of nexusmods.com. Again, I have another video of how to download those, how to install them. So we want two of those, and we're going to try to combine them. And we're going to combine them using a little utility I made. To get that utility, you're going to go to github.com slash substatica slash bas dash mod dash merge. This is a .NET executable, so you're going to need a Windows machine to, to use this utility. Now on the right of the page here, there's a section called releases. Click on that. Right now it's 1.0.0 beta and just expand assets and download the zip file of this utility. If there's a newer version, you should probably try that one out. I've already downloaded this zip file and I have it here in a directory with our reference bas.jsondb, better spells and butter stabs mods, which I've downloaded from Nexus Mods. So what I'll do is I'll extract the utility just extract to another directory and then for ease I'll copy the files that we need into the directory along with the executable. So I'll select our reference and our two mods and I'll copy those and I will paste them alongside the executable. So then I'm going to open a command prompt. PowerShell is fine. And what we're going to do is type the name of the executable, which is bas-mod-merge, standing for Blade and Sorcery Mod Merge.exe. And then the first parameter for the executable is going to be our reference file. So bas.jsondb. The second parameter is going to be our dominant mod, and we're going to do um, butter stabs as our dominant mod. So we put the file name of the zip. The zip is fine, 7-zip is fine, RAR is probably fine. You're going to get an error if it's an unsupported file type. The utility is going to go through that archive and pull out the uh, JSON DB from it. And then the third parameter is the subordinate mod. Now the dominant mod is going to take priority. So if the same file has been changed by both mods, the dominant mod file is going to be used. So the next mod is better spells. So that's it. We have the executable. We have our reference bas.jsondb. We have our dominant mod file and then we have our subordinate mod file. And I'll just hit enter and what that's going to do, it's going to extract the mods. It's going to compare them to the reference file and then it's going to create a merged version. So we can see here that it's detected a number of modifications, a number of modifications in the subordinate mod, and then a number of modifications in the dominant mod. And it's combined all those files along with the reference files into a merged version with both of the mods as best as possible. This isn't going to work for everything, especially if they've changed the same files, but it's going to make things easier so that you don't have to compare these files yourself. So if we go back to the directory, we should see a new directory entitled Merge Output. And if we go in there, we have a new bas.json db, and that's going to be the merged 
file with both mods. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it on your headset. Again, I have other videos showing how to use SideQuest to do that. Uh, but then this is going to have the merged version. And that's it. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm heading for 10,000 subscribers. It would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, of the utility, of the game, or any of the mods that you've used. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.